Pension primary coverage continues now. I News political analyst Joe Fleming up bright and early with us. So, Joe, we've seen the needle move in New Hampshire the last yep. few days leading up to today's vote. Right. One person who's seen a little jump in the polls, Amy Klobuchar. Absolutely. There's no question, Patrick. The, the voters in New Hampshire are very fluid at this yes. time. About a third of them are still undecided. We're really not going to know what happens until tonight when the results come in because people can really change their mind in this election. And Amy has really moved up since the debate on Friday night. So she's in a position to possibly move into the top three. All right, so we don't want to make too big of a deal out of this. Five people voted in Dixville, Knox, right. New Hampshire at midnight. Michael Bloomberg with three write-in votes. So he's leading right now in Dixville, Knox, but he's not even on the primary no, ballot he's not. in New Hampshire. Um, I would make very little out of that. It's Again, it's five people voting. Uh, today, we're going to see who wins the primary. That's the big thing. Bloomberg is aiming for March 3rd. That is his whole campaign. He has to do well March 3rd. Or he's all done. So you were up in New Hampshire over the weekend, right. uh, scouting out the landscape for the primary. You stopped by Mayor Pete Buttigieg's uh, campaign office to yep. check out what was going on there. After that strong finish in Iowa, do you expect that momentum to roll into New Hampshire? Well, I think he's taking that momentum. I saw a lot of activity going on at his headquarters this past weekend. Uh, they're out canvassing all through Manchester. I expect him to do well today. How well, I'm not sure, as I said, because the voters are very fluid at this point. And with Amy coming on, she may take some of his moderate-type voters away from him. All right, so a couple of uh, people with home games here, right? right? Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders. Let's start with Elizabeth Warren. What does she need to happen in New Hampshire? Well, she has the most to lose at this point. She had a poor showing in Iowa right. where she only ran third. Here, if she does not come in the top three, her campaign could be almost over. Because if she fades, I don't know where she has a firewall to come back from after this. So she has to get some momentum. She's going to start running out of money. So she has to really try to get in that top three. And right now, the polling shows her not in that position. She's from Massachusetts. Correct. Of course, Bernie Sanders from Vermont. Right. So where's Bernie standing well, on Well, Bernie this? right now is leading. He won New Hampshire by over 20 points four years ago. Right now, all the polls are consistent with Bernie having about a seven or eight point lead. So we'll have to see how it comes out tonight. But Bernie's in a strong position at this point to keep him going into the next primaries. All right, let's talk about Joe Biden now and you. Speaking of being in New Hampshire, right. you went to a uh, Biden uh, campaign rally. You heard right. Biden speak. Is New Hampshire going to be another kind of disappointment like Iowa was? And he's focusing on South Carolina. It looks like it is going to be a disappointment for him. He's probably going to be either third, fourth, or fifth place in New Hampshire. But the one thing Joe Biden has is a firewall. He has Nevada and South Carolina, the next two caucuses and primaries where he's leading at this point from the polls that we've seen. So he has this chance to rebound. If he doesn't rebound in those two places, then his campaign's in serious trouble. All right, it's a big day in New Hampshire. And uh, Joe Fleming with us all morning long. He's back at 730 over on Fox Providence. Stay with your local election headquarters. Full coverage of the New Hampshire primary today. There's Danielle. She'll have live reports from Manchester starting tonight on Eyewitness News Live at 5 and coverage all day on our website, WPRI.com. Ted Nisi co-anchoring a regional digital live show on WPRI.com and our news app. This one starts at 7 o'clock tonight as the results start to come in.